are you new to deer biking but are worried about how dangerous it might be, uh, all the crashes and injuries that you've heard about, I want to show you 10 tips uh, for beginners so that it's just as safe if not safer than other sports like soccer, hockey, football. So number one is starting on the right bike. If you're new to off-road or transitioning from the street, you do not want to start on a big and powerful uh, motocross or enduro bike. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see um, beginners do and it it kind of it's a pet peeve because the power is fun uh, especially when going on a smooth road but once you get on the trails especially te technical stuff it gets hard to control especially when you get worn out and that's when you start whiskey throttling and things can get pretty hairy pretty fast if you're on a 450 or a 300 two-stroke or even a 250F uh, motocross bike. They have a lot of power these days. So what you want is a trail bike. Yep, it's gonna be slow, but if you're new to riding, it's a lot easier to learn on, a lot more forgiving. You don't have to worry about all that extra power. Uh, instead, you can just focus on riding it and having fun. Tip number two is wearing the essential gear. Uh, you'd be surprised how many new riders I see with uh, very little to no gear or just the wrong gear. And the number one piece of gear is your helmet. But a lot of people don't have the right helmet. And I'm not saying you need to spend six, eight hundred dollars because an expensive helmet that doesn't fit right is actually less safe than a cheaper helmet that fits properly on your head. So you want it to fit nice and snug. If it's loose, if it wobbles around, it's not safe. You're gonna get hurt if you go down. Well, you'll be more likely to get hurt. Uh, then boots, you want uh, good fitting boots that aren't super worn out. The more flexible they are, uh, the more soft they are, um, the more dangerous it's gonna be because that's why motocross boots, dirt bike boots are stiff to protect you from getting your ankle and feet crushed by the bike or hitting a stump or whatever it is. And then riding gloves. So many people ride without gloves and although they're not going to protect like an injury but just simple tip overs, your hands are going to get scuffed up real easily without gloves. Uh, then goggles, eye protection, how much are your eyes worth to you? Get some goggles that fit properly, uh, especially with the helmet you choose. Uh, riding jersey and pants, eh, you don't really need them but they are the most comfortable and they add well, the pants add a little bit of protection, but the jersey is nice for that airflow. Uh, and then I also just suggest uh, chest protector or body armor uh, from Roost um, or elbow guards. They're included in the body armor because when you're tipping over, it hurts to hit rocks or logs. And then knee pads too, especially if you're riding in rocks and stuff, it hurts to fall on something or to bang your elbow on the handlebar. Tip number three learn how to ride your dirt bike properly and if you're just teaching yourself or someone else is showing you how to do it you're trusting yourself or them that you know uh, how to do it properly and there's so many little uh, techniques that you should be learning a lot of new riders just learn the basics like the very basics the, ba uh, the throttle the clutch the brakes and then they move on they go riding but they don't have any understanding or proper technique using their body properly and that gets them in trouble later on maybe sooner get some coaching go to a school and this video is brought to you by my virtual dirt biker school so if you're a new rider that has never formally been trained on how to properly ride a dirt bike i want to show you proper riding technique so head to motocrosshideout.com or click the link in the description to learn how to safely ride with confidence and control. Tip number four, choose the right type of riding to start on. And what I mean by that is if you're new to dirt biking, do not go to a motocross track. That's one of the worst places you can go. Uh, you want to start out with your trail bike, learning on an open field or really easy trails. Uh, I suggest no trees around at first uh, until you get comfortable with that and then transition to something a little bit more technical and don't even go to the track until you're extremely confident in your skills, um, your balance, your clutch and throttle control and you're comfortable with starting out on small jumps. So don't go to the motor track, uh, don't go to an enduro cross track, uh, don't go to any track if you're new to riding. Start out on something really easy 
and then you'll be a lot less likely to get hurt or hurt someone else. Tip number five is don't ride anywhere illegal. Yeah, you may see some really cool riding spots that are not open to the public, um, but no one uses them, so why not ride them? Please don't do that. I mean, there could be some barbed wire somewhere that you don't see and that's deadly, or you may upset some neighbors, or you'll end up getting caught by the cops. Or there's a lot of other people that live in the cities. They don't want to go uh, drive out to the country, so they ride around the street. And a dirt bike is not meant for the street, uh, not just because it's illegal, but the dirt knobbies, they're not good control on the asphalt, but stay off the streets if you're on an off-road dirt bike. Ride places that are legal, please. For your safety and for the sake of other dirt bikers. We don't want a bad name. Please don't do anything that's illegal. Uh, tip number six is know your limits. So when it comes to riding, there's kind of two parts to this. One, you need to warm up before you start riding hard. Don't go 100% right when you get on the bike. Uh, it's just like your bike. The engine needs to warm up properly if you want it to last a long time. So if you want to crash less, then you need to warm up your muscles, your body, your blood. It needs to warm up to temperature before it loosens up because uh, when you're cold, when you haven't exercised, warmed up, your body is stiff. Uh, you're more likely to tense, tighten up, and uh, hurt yourself. So warm up either by jogging, doing some exercises, uh, pedaling before you get on the bike. Otherwise, your first 10 to 20 minutes on the bike should be real casual, just slowly warming up. And then part two to that is um, riding within your comfort zone. There's no need to show off if you're a new rider. Don't try and keep up with an experienced rider uh, just because it's cool or you just want to keep up with them. Uh, don't push your pace. You want to challenge yourself uh, as you get better and get more confidence, but don't ride in places or at a pace that you're not comfortable with. If you know there's an expert trail and you're still a newbie, don't go on it. That's just the smart thing to do. Tip number seven is kind of a bonus one, health and wellness. If you're healthy and well, and like I said, you're warming up properly, then you're less likely to get hurt. So hydration, eating cleaner foods, yeah, I don't want to get into that. I'm not a health expert, but I've been listening to like Coach Rob. He's really knowledgeable in health, wellness, and uh, sports performance, go ahead and listen to him. I really like his content. Uh, tip number eight, plan your ride. If you're always going somewhere to go to a trail ride, uh, know where you're going, know where the trailhead is, uh, where you can exit, where you can get out, um, <clears throat> bring a map, uh, bring a phone, bring a credit card, um, bring a buddy, go riding with someone. Uh, you're less, if you get hurt, if you crash, if you can't ride back, at least you have someone with you. But if you can't ride with someone, then always tell someone where you're going, uh, when you're going, and when you plan on getting back. Uh, even adding a tracker, GPS tracker, um, or a sat phone on you will just overall make you things safer. If you crash and can't ride back somehow, you're all alone, you'll be stuck if no one knows where you are. All right, tip number nine, uh, maintain your dirt bike. Uh, if you're riding a trail bike, most of them are really reliable. So changing the oil, keeping the air filter clean, uh, keeping the chain properly tensioned, there's not a whole lot else to it. Just pay attention to uh, any new sounds or any new feels, it feels weird, um, some new knocking sound. You need to pay attention to that, stop, uh, get it fixed, but yeah, checking your oil, checking your coolant if it's liquid cooled uh, before each and every ride will it will potentially save a lot of crashes from the engine blocking up or if you get stranded because uh, you didn't maintain your bike. All right, tip number 10 is master basic riding technique. This comes back to learning balance and traction and trail situations, learning how to properly position yourself, standing up, sitting down, when to do it, how to do it, where to place your hands and feet and butt and hips and uh, how to properly 
hit corners, flat corners, rutted corners, going up hills, down hills, learning the basic techniques, practicing them, mastering them so they become muscle memory so you don't have to think about it. Doing all that will make you a much safer rider because you stay in control of the bike. You know what the bike is doing. And this is why I make this the last tip because it's the most important when it comes to safety. And if you can't stay in control of your bike, you're much more likely to crash and get hurt. And if you don't want to get hurt, I want to show you how to properly ride. Head to motocrosshideout.com. I have some tips from you, more, more in-depth tips on riding technique uh, based on my virtual dirt biker school. Uh, it goes into basic riding technique. I teach you not only what to do, but how to do it and why to do it. So if you want to go more in depth, head to motocrosshideout.com. I look forward to teaching you how to be a safer, better, more confident rider. I'm Kelly Fager. This is Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.